a student came up to me and he said, I want to start a company. I'm wondering if you want to invest in it. We're going to sell glasses online. And we're going to try to do for glasses what Zappos did for shoes. And I was like, that's ridiculous. Like, you, you can't order glasses online. You have to go try them on and you know, sort of get your eyes checked. And like, that, that's not going to work. Unfortunately, the Lobbying Disclosure Act, which governs disclosure of, of lobbying activity, does not mandate that lobbyists uh, disclose whom they're meeting with. So they only say, we lobbied the House of Representatives or we lobbied the Senate, which is ridiculous. That doesn't provide us with a roadmap to exactly uh, who their targets are in, in Congress. So for me, like, I was on film sets as a kid. And like I saw my dad, like you know, with a gun and a badge, and I'm like, what? Like he can play, and they're all adults, and they're still doing this. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Um, you've done very well for me. Thank you. I will sit in my hot tub in honor of you. Uh, but uh, we did just buy a hot tub, by the way, and it's it's ridiculous. It is a ridiculous hot tub. So I would, for instance, like shoot off an email to someone to try to get them to look at a 10-minute uh, excerpt of the book that I took ages to put together. And it's like, this will only take 10 minutes. And then they would reply with, like, I don't have the time. And I'm like, how can I, you know, I didn't say this, but in my head, I'm just like, how can you not have 10 minutes? That's ridiculous. You know, and get very offended. 